Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to Pacific Northwest. Spring is here. Yeah, I, I skipped last, well, I didn't skip the last three days of winter, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there wasn't really much to do other than take care of the animals at this point. And uh, it snowed a few days, so this layer of snow got kind of bad. But the fifth day of winter was like 42 degrees, so I think that helped keep the layer somewhat down. Uh, you can kind of see the ground is somewhat there. And it's not as high as it was, and right now it's 41 degrees early in the morning. I'm going to slow this time down just a tad. So we got some things to do. Uh, one thing I'm never good at in seasons and all that fun stuff is, well, if we get in the new home, you'll see one day until maintenance is required. One of these things I'm not really good at. I should have done in the winter. I didn't. But uh, I got one day left. She's running. So... I think this is the only vehicle that we kept from the original what you start with. So let's open up the garage here. And that's where we got to bring her in to get her fixed or repaired. I did not really... No, I don't want that button either. I thought I opened it all the way. I guess I didn't. Now I do have the toolbox right there in the ground in case we can't get a vehicle to where it needs to be. Is it all R? All? If we sell a vehicle, how much to repair? Do you want to perform maintenance for 182? Yes. So now if we get in here, there. She's all set for, what do you say, 24 days? That'd be right for a full season. Now, we're not using the New Holland today, obviously, not much work to do. So we've lost uh, quite a bit of money uh, the past three days, nights, whatever, for property maintenance, animal upkeep, all that fun stuff. Uh, we do not, the one thing that we do have going for us, and we're, we're going to, we got to take care of the sheep a little bit this morning. Uh, the sheep are back producing wool, which is nice. Their health is back up to 90 it dropped a little bit because I went one night and I forgot to check their grass. I thought, well, they had enough grass for the night, and they didn't. Oh, and the cows were up to 58%. I had to fix them with the uh, total mixed rations. The only, excuse me, power food. The only thing I wish they would somewhat fix, and I had the same problem on our previous map, and I've played that for a lot of seasons, is when you give them power food, of course, the silage from the power food counts to here. This number is just going to keep skyrocketing and skyrocketing. So one thing you could do is just not give them power food and watch that come back down. I hope that's something that's kind of fixed in 19. Uh, so what I need to do is hop over to the John Deere. Uh, what is that left for maintenance on it? Two days? Well, the door is open. So let's go up and uh, take care of that. Now, I did do one little test for the funsies of it with the chickens. I did not feed the chickens. I went the night to see what would happen and am I not into is it because of the customized modded bail fork? But uh, I did not feed the chickens. Slept the night, woke up next morning and 45 of the chickens died. So in seasons or it could be just the mod itself takes care of it no I don't want to repair that how, how are you picking up that when I backed in all right you're gonna be that way let's do it like this so like I was saying I don't know if it's a seasons mod or if the chicken mod does it all in itself about about not feeding them but uh, just keep in mind that your chickens can die if you don't feed them in seasons at least or it could be the mod itself as well there so these two vehicles are good for at least a season it didn't cost us too much 
Oh, but I was going to show you, though. We got, even though we only got 10 cows, we haven't been selling milk for a while. We, we do have 27,000 liters of milk to sell. So, we can get some money that way. And the milk prices, where are we here? Uh, milk. 772 but if we go to the seasons mod where are we here I was on milk so today it's at 772 must be last year at this time it was awfully low well not awfully low but low but the price is going up so maybe we'll have to see what that does uh, we don't really need the money right at the moment You can see the roads are really starting to clear up a little bit, even though these are the roads I traveled on quite a bit doing the logging in our four fields, which we'll have to clean up when the snow's all gone. Yeah, this bill pitchfork just keeps hitting everything, which is, you know, my own fault for driving with it on there, but... Now the one thing I noticed, at least with this map, oh, we took it all. Oh, but they're decent enough. Uh, it seems like when it rains or snows, as you can see with the pigs, it fills up with the water trough for the pigs. It seems to do the same for the cows a little bit, but it doesn't affect the sheep at all. It seems rather odd, but it is what it is. All right, so they're producing wool, and I know wool in the spring should be a decent price as well. Uh, it's up to 8000 So we may hang on to it just for a little bit. Because we can see by the fifth or sixth day of spring, it kind of gets up there. So we're going to hang on to it just for a little bit longer. Let's just run over to the chickens real quick. Now I actually fed them and watered them last night because what I had to do was I had to empty out the eggs. They laid 50 eggs in one night. <laughs> the reason why I had I had to make sure I cleaned out the eggs because I want to do a full season with 100 chickens collecting eggs and we'll sell the eggs at the end of the year. So we'll just let this fill up for the whole season if I can behave myself and not, not get tempted to clean it or empty it and we'll sell the eggs at the end of the season and then at the beginning of next year we'll put straw in here and let the chickens breed we'll see how many chickens we get sell so we got 100 chickens left and compare if we make more money if we make more money making uh, selling eggs or breeding chickens so that'd be a fun little test to do in that mod there but since the uh, Joskin trailer is empty and I want to head down to the Moo Cows area anyways. I need to bring this down and fill it up because there is no water point up. Well, there is a water tower up here you can fill your tanker up, but you have to pay for that water. And I'm a cheap bastard, so I'm going <laughs> to head up and down. And uh, we'll fill up this tanker there and probably top off the cows while we're at it. So I'm going to go and come down here, fill up the trailer, like I said, top off the cows. Then I'm going to have to jump back up here, grab our Volvo truck, and bring that down to the new cows as well. So I'll see you in a second. Yeah, just going over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go, kind of. So as you can tell, we're in the Volvo. We have our animal trailer in tow. And we're headed to the animal shop, or what do they call it? Well, I'm calling it the animal shop. Because what we're going to do is we're going to buy some moo cows. Uh, how many? Uh, I'll have to take a look at and see how our money looks like. Uh, now the problem is with the snow, I don't know where the trigger is. I'm going to say it's in here somewhere, so let, let me give this a shot. So 
somewhere in here. Bingo! Alright, so if we buy... 10 cows, I think it'd be... Because that'll be double of what we got. Well, double what we got. And that'll put us down to around 20,000 in the bank. I think that's good enough for now. Uh, we just want to up the production of manure, liquid manure, milk, all that good stuff. Now their health is starting to get up there a little bit. And now that we got a nice trailer, we don't have to pay for transportation fees. Oh, they put them on the second deck? Really? Why? Okay. Whatever. Whatevers. I'll take it easy for the moo cows. And we'll top off the moo cows uh, with their feed and, and straw and all that good stuff so they're good to go for a few days. Now there's no grass in the pasture yet so it's not, not just because it's the first day of spring season isn't uh, uh, the mod isn't that stupid just to say well since it's the first day of spring grass is growing they got grass in the pasture. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Uh, for the cows, it doesn't matter too much because they got silage, total mix rations to feed off of. The sheep, we'll have to keep an eye on because we'll have to feed them hay. We do have a good amount of hay in storage down here. Oh, and also you can see the pond is still frozen, so I don't know if that's going to unthaw when the ground gets above 32. Or is that just when the snow's gone? Or how is that going to work? We'll have to see. Some new stuff for me. And where am I going? Oh no. Yeah. Almost know where I'm going. I have done this a few times actually with the cows. Let's go start going over the bridge like, no, I needed to turn. That's why you gotta stop, kids. Wait for traffic. Now, I haven't watered the cows just yet because I want to make sure I get all the cows in there and then we will, we will uh, top them off with a water bowser. As you can see we got a decent amount of manure to start with. Now I do believe the trigger is right in here. It should be right here I believe. There we go, we're going to unload all of the moo cows. Confirm. Actually, we'll leave that open. We'll run over to our John Deere. It'll kind of look a little bit better now that we got like 20 cows running around here. I don't know how many cows it actually shows. Never really could figure that out. Never looked at it too much, but. Oh, wow. They didn't take that much water. All right, you got, you got to start the engine first before you can move it there. Clean up. There you go. get that out of there uh, actually let's park this right over here for now underneath the shed there now we got some more moo cows They, they look somewhat happy, don't they? <laughs> yeah, so if I turn on uh, F1 here, you can see that grass and cow pasture, zero liters. Alright. Let's, uh, we'll park up the animal trailer because we're going to be done with that for a little bit. I'm hoping this season maybe get the pigs up and running, but 
We'll have to see how that goes. this up to this side here. Okay, and reclose that back up. I think we'll park this in here for now as well. All right, so how are we doing uh, on the cow stats? So they could use some straw and total mixed rations is somewhat yes, no, maybe. But since the John Deere is right here, we kind of need to take a good look at what we got for straw and what we got for hay. So I think the first time we mow our grass field, we'll have to make some more hay bales. Because we're going to have to make a lot of total mix rations for 20 cows. So we don't have that many bales left. We should have enough at least to get us to summer, I would think. Uh, straw bales, we seem to have plenty of those. Uh, I don't think I need two. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for the snow to melt. Okay, how does that do you for straw? That looks good for straw. You know, I think they're fine on the power fruit for a couple days. So, wow, their health is up to 69%? Wow, that jumped in a couple little bit, didn't it? Is it because we put 20 cow? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm not sure about that. But that's great to see. <laughs> that's almost up to 70%. Yeah, so we can't do nothing with grass. And the sheep should be fine for at least another day. Uh, they're producing wool. Alright, so maybe what I'll do now is after we park up the John Deere once again. I'll let the back window up, open up all winter. That's because the heater in this thing is outstanding, at, you know, so that's why I need a cool drag. Alright, so what we'll do Let's actually open this door back up. We're going to hook up our tanker. And I need to visit the bioprocessing plant. And since we're going there, I'm going to fill up with liquid slurry. Uh, we got back a little bit better than that. Okay. There you go. Now eventually, like I said, we'll have tankers for everything. I'm trying to be a little bit realistic by not hooking up this trailer and get some milk yet because, you know, we've had cow manure and liquid fertilizing here. I don't want to be hooking up milk just yet. Oh, wow. Can I remember the buttons? It's been a few days. Uh, is it N? There you go. Is it R to fill? Oh, yeah. The typical buttons, but you know. We're talking about me here. I don't remember this stuff. I didn't see how much was in there. I kind of forgot, but you know, that's looks like it's about right. So off with our chocolate shake to the bioprocessing plant. Uh, the crunchiness of snow. I don't miss that sound yet. I mean, it seems like winter just got over. Right, let's flip on our hazard lights. Careful of this traffic around here. They, they drive uh, crazy in the Pacific Northwest, apparently. I'll give a time for an auto save. Actually, let me jump back time up to 15 times. 
Although what sucks is it looks like it's going to rain soon. But if it starts to rain, I'll skip that. But we're getting close to the end of the video anyways. We're kind of on the last step for the video. Basically what we're doing, like I said, is we're going to bring this liquid fertilizer up to the bioprocessing plant. And we're actually going to hook up some fuel in here and bring it up to the main farm. So we have fuel up there. John, John Deere, New Holland may need some fuel for the season. And I would like to make sure that this tanker does fill for fuel. I mean, it should. But just want to make sure. Trying to drive a little careful in the snow. Oop, turn the wheels the wrong way. And there we go, our bioprocessing plant will get to work and make some more fuel and stuff. So what I'm going to do now, since it's going to rain, and I want to make sure I try to get all the fuel here I can, I want to fast forward the time a little bit, so I'll see you in a second. Alright, I know I said I was going to bring it back after the rain stopped and the processing plant was done. The processing plant is done, the rain hasn't stopped, but I had to... <laughs> we have a great demand for millet which we have and it goes to the Manti farm so you can see right here is now going for 1300 and we got you know we don't have a great a lot but you know that's going to give us pretty close to what 17,000 almost repay pay us back for the cows uh, that great demands almost it'll be up within like another hour and a half I think Somewhere around there, and I don't want to bypass it, so we're going to, have to do the last bit of work in the rain, which, you know, maybe you don't usually get to see that often. But you can see, though, that uh, the rain's helping melt the snow as well. 45 degrees and rainy and, and whatnot. So, let's get this Volvo started up. There has been a lot of great demands uh, the past few days, actually. Now let's hopefully I get this close and it's actually, I want the fuel, not the liquid fertilizer, so I'm going to assume fuel transport. So we took all the fuel that she has. So let's head up back to the farm. We'll fill up our fuel tanker back up at the farm where all of our fields are. And apparently I took the corner too tight. Um, what button is it for? Uh, Alright, we're going to need to close that first of all. Oh well, I was looking for something to do with the trailer and I can't remember how to do it, but we need to get back to the farm and uh, load up with that millet. So I see you back up at the farm very shortly, like, you know, in a second. Well, the yard is sure looking different after I last left. Now, I don't know how much these tankers up here hold. No, I don't want to fill up. I mean, that's fine. There we go. No, I don't want to... Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, I screwed that up apparently because I hit 
the wrong button and I emptied the fuel out on the ground. So, that was fun. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out for next time. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but unfortunately I took all the gas out that was in the tank. I must have... Well, I'll have to go back to the recording and see what I did. Because uh, I'm not really sure at this point what I did. But, anywho's. Uh, I actually left left the game and tried to restart it. Well, I did restart it just to see if my quick save uh, was before I did that, and it wasn't. So it is what it is. Uh, millet. Here we go. We can make more fuel. That's not going to be a problem. Well, let's go up and sell this millet to kind of make up for what I just did. Oh, man. I can't wait to go back and look to see. I, I, I know I filled the tanker up. I took the fuel out of the tank and filled it into the tanker. I was like, no, I don't want to fill the tank. I want to unload into it. And I may have hit auto unload and it may have just dumped it right on the ground. And I wasn't paying attention on it. And I was trying to figure out what buttons were doing what. So, yeah. Live and learn. We'll just go make some cash. Uh, finally knew where I was going. Yeah, sit on the railroad tracks. That's always a good idea. That brings me to the placeable. So where is the entry way to here? I have no idea where the entry way is to here. So we're going to make one. <laughs> right here. Uh, where is your cell point? Probably driving on your lawn, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. But I need to sell this before your uh, great demand is over with. Seventeen grand. We'll take that. Thank you very much. See if I can figure out where the uh, exit would be for here. Could it be like right? Uh, this doesn't make no sense either. Oh well. We're out. So <laughs> there we have it. So at least we got some moo cows today. I goofed up the fuel. We topped off the moo cows and we sold some more of our grain to get us back up there. And uh, we're now in spring. And we're going to let our chickens produce eggs all year. We'll sell the eggs at the end of the year. I'll grab those. I do have to sell the eggs actually that are in my backpack. So maybe we need to jump down there and just do that. So let's get the, the truck and the trailer off the road here. We'll jump back down to our John Deere. We'll go sell the eggs and call it an episode. Uh, I do have quite a bit of eggs in the backpack. I want to say 400 and something. Those chickens are producing great. That fuel though, that's going to bug me for a little bit. But it is what it is. Engine off. Alright. John Deere is the closest vehicle we got. Actually, can I teleport to anything? Not really. Let's see if there's like a, a store or something I could teleport to make it a little bit quicker. But uh, do a little bit of experiment with the chickens. It'll take a couple years. Which really is not that long because sometimes, as we see, I do skip some days out. Hopefully the snow melts ASAP so the grass can really start growing and uh, the cows and the sheep 
can get grass that way. Well, we don't have to go too far to sell these eggs. I almost took two wide of the corner there and I probably the poked that guy right in the driver's side door. Might even get a couple grand out of these eggs. Pitching four thousand. Holy crap! Thank you, ma'am, sir, wherever you are. Hey, hey, hey! I mean, you got two lanes. You could have moved over just a little bit, fella. So rude. So, oh yeah, then now I'm rude pulling out in front of a Bronco. So that's going to do it for today, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.